In this video, I'm going to talk about Viva Glint. Now, Viva Glint is one of the applications from Viva Suite. Viva Glint is a people-driven platform that provides visibility into the health of your organization and guides effective action. Now, remember, this is an organization-wide information which you're going to gather by survey. Now, there is a, another similar app called as Viva Pulse. So, Viva Pulse is basically for team leader and manager to understand what's happening within your team, okay? So, that's a smaller component. Now, Viva Glint is like a bigger component. So, it takes into consideration what's happening at an organization level. Viva Glint helps understand the voice of employee. Viva Glint helps in improving workforce management. So this is at a, a high level company wide. Okay, so it doesn't take into consideration what's happening within the team. However, that do add uh, into the reporting uh, surveys. But uh, Viva Glint basically it helps increase employee engagement within your organization. Viva Glint predicts opportunities and risk to business. So it is always important to get a sense or get a pulse of your staff to drive further actions within your organization so uh, your staff is the one who's going to take your company to a higher level right now viva glint basically predicts if there is any opportunities coming in the near future or if there is a threat of risk to the business okay so say maybe a take for example if there is an upcoming strike or maybe a possibility of an upcoming strike or upcoming uh, you know, rebellion action within your organization or maybe if your uh, team is very good enough and they have a lot of capabilities then there is a chance that by doing the survey you can uh, leverage those skill set and uh, opt for more business opportunity for with your customers now we were then translates insights into action and track the feedback progress so it's not only about just gathering survey but then after the survey uh, it generates some sort of an actionable insight like in what action it should be taken either in terms of learning or it can be in terms of corrective actions within your organization and it tracks the feedback progress over a period of time fever client helps identifies employee success drivers so uh, in a nutshell uh, for an organization um, you forward the survey to your employees and then employee will be able to provide you a feedback which will help you identify forward opportunities risk to business or a general feedback on how the organization is faring capabilities now again this is based on service so employee service and then it has engagement survey templates so all the templates are pre-built you just need to utilize those now glint was an organization which was previously acquired by linkedin and LinkedIn acquired Glint, uh, I believe, in the year 2018. And then LinkedIn started incorporating uh, the Glint features uh, uh, within an application. And then that has now transformed into Viva Glint. Now, Viva Glint has a lot of action plans, interactive dashboards, predictive analytics, all baked in within the application. So uh, you can have those guided team conversation once the survey results are out and the next set of actions needs to be defined within an organization. Now, remember, this survey is not just a one-time survey, but it needs to be done periodically. And then those factors or uh, metrics needs to be tracked every, uh, say, quarter or uh, semi-annually or maybe every year. Now, an integrated action plans and learning content support is being provided by various complementary applications like, say, Viva Learning. So quite possible that if you identify there is an issue within your organization based on the feedback received from Clint, then there might be an actionable uh, uh, activity uh, related to upskilling of the staff. And that can be achieved by using Viva Learning, by uh, introducing courses to the staff uh, to achieve their goals. Uh, AI and natural language processing support also exist within Viva Glint and it is going to get better in the year 2024 by introduction of Copilot. Now, these are some of the screens like the employee signals, uh, onboarding, exit, culture, uh, you know, driver prioritization, focus areas, reporting, uh, comment keywords, alerts. Uh, and then comparison okay so i'm going to go through all this in 
by browsing through the Microsoft website. So this is the Microsoft website for Viva Glint. Now it's called as Microsoft Viva Glint. So in a nutshell, it's it basically improves the engagement and performance with recommended actions and data-driven insight across the employee lifecycle and uh, using the organization-wide surveys. First part, now here there are three uh, items, understand, analyze, and take action. So first part, understand is like people science, okay? Now measure engagement with service built on people science. So all the hard work has already been performed by Viva, by Viva Clint, by uh, looking into the industry standard, industry benchmark, and what has been recorded in the past. And it has built an uh, effective knowledge base uh, so that uh, you can just utilize those uh, templates uh, to conduct a survey within your organization. Now, comprehensive engagement. Now, this is not only about just getting an insight of what's happening within your organization, but then it can be performed, uh, the service can be performed for onboarding or offboarding or exit uh, of an employee or just to sense the culture, okay? Now, uh, it's uh, quite intuitive. You can uh, see over here, there is like, it is number based where you can see that share feedback, interpret results, and it, it's all sequential. And then you can define various service for different departments or for different use cases as listed over here. You can use customizable template organization wide uh, that addresses various uh, 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 I'd say events like an onboarding or uh, diversity and inclusion and various other topics. Holistic insight, it will give you a holistic insight. It won't uh, reveal who has responded what, but then it collates those information in the back end and then it will give you uh, a number, you know, and that's what is called as a driver prioritization. And you can also see the score over time, how it has fared, because this is not a one-time survey. It needs to be conducted periodically, preferably every quarter or, uh, or at least once a year. So it gives you a basic comparison on how your team is performing alongside company average. So if you if you see this result, it says your team is uh, with the value 52 and company average is 59. So that means your team is performing way below company average. And there has to be some sort of an action defined by your manager uh, in order to uh, propel your team forward. Okay. And then favorability it, it's all about sentiments you know whether it's favorable unfavorable or neutral uh, and then it will give you a nice statistics around how it has fared uh, by trending across the time so it's it's mainly about quantitative and qualitative data measurement analyzing interactive dashboards so you can have those interactive dashboard in form of a heat map like uh, if the survey is passed across to various departments like sales marketing marketing operations and uh, uh, based on various categorization like the prospects leadership work-life balance feedback engagement all these things can be uh, like say plotted against the uh, x and y axes and then you can get those stats. Like say in this example, if you read this report, it says a respondent. So total 26,132 respondents were there for the survey. Out of that 3,910 were from marketing alone. And uh, from an engagement module perspective, they have had 70. Uh, however, for feedback and work-life balance, it is around 65 and 55. So that means anything which is in red, okay, needs to uh, be uh, looked into. Uh, for uh, further actions so that this particular number can be improved in the future survey. Comment analytics. So uh, this is mainly about uh, people uh, typing uh, something in the, say, a text box. Okay. If, if this is not like uh, a quantitative analysis, I'd say if, if people uh, want to write something within that survey results and uh, it will pick up uh, uh, most frequently used from that word cloud and it will highlight uh, the importance of those words so if you see in this report it says reorganization short staffed headcount training is required so it gives you a, a uh, indication that these are the things which needs to be uh, accomplished and anything which is in red needs to be uh, uh, taken very seriously so you need to have some sort of a reorganization for this particular organization report okay uh, smart alerts. So smart alert is basically uh, 
uh, a, a an interface through which you can see all the alerts uh, defined in one particular place okay so uh, various areas like career empowerment feedback all those things you can see over here it has some sort of a score defined and uh, if the alert is a minus 14 versus the benchmark, then the impact is very high. So that means for this particular result, uh, career uh, and empowerment and feedback needs to be focused and it has got a negative alerts. Okay, So we can monitor millions of data points and generate alerts for employee population at risk for increased attrition. So here you can get an indication that over a period of time, okay, maybe next quarter or maybe next year, there might be a lot of attrition if you do not control this parameter okay now in order to control this parameter you need to have some sort of an actionable insights defined you need to have an action plan action plan can be based on either monetary growth or training or uh, uh, empowering your staff okay now that's all about taking an action it's all about uh, setting up those comparison between internal and external benchmarks so uh, how your team is compared uh, compared to industry standard you yeah? know if your team is way above industry standard then it's good you need to just go uh, ahead and execute whatever you're doing correctly and uh, again repeat those things but if you fall below the industry average then there has to be some sort of an action taken okay so that will give you a glimpse of how your organization is uh, compared with the external organization of a similar uh, capacity or caliber Empowered management, again, this uh, it will give you how this uh, entire survey is uh, has those engagement rate. The engagement scores basically provides an indicator on how your team is performing. It uses the feedback provided by the team as well as the discussion of the result to determine what are the barriers or what are the enablers uh, for the team's engagement. And it gives you a glimpse of uh, whether there has been a uh, minute progress so as you see over here engagement has increased by six basis points uh, since x years you know and uh, and that 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 gives you a good indication that how your uh, team is performing okay integrated action again based on the result there can be some sort of an action item defined whether it can be one is to one meetings or it can be uh, a, incorporating some cultural changes within your organization or developing in habits to focus on the most important priority setting those priorities in the busy work environment cutting down meetings or maybe increasing those communication and collaboration across the staff so these kind of feedback loops which will help in uh, addressing those problems before that problem turns out into uh, a major issue for your organization so that's it folks uh, this is all about microsoft fever clint